this is a significant signing, uh, getting Chen. It kind of fortified you know, what they were looking for all offseason, which was a starting pitcher who could pitch at the top of the rotation. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. The Miami Marlins continue their offseason makeover. The Fish have agreed to terms with Wei in Jen on a five-year, $80 million contract. The deal reportedly includes an opt-out clause after two years, as well as a sixth-year option. Jen has pitched for the Orioles for the past four seasons, going 11-8 and eight with a 3.34 ERA in 2015. Remaining in South Beach, the Marlins also added infielder Chris Johnson on Tuesday. Johnson is expected to play multiple positions, including first and third base, and even some left field. The seven-year veteran split time between the Braves and Indians in 2015, combining to hit 255 with three home runs and 18 RBIs in 83 games. He can bat several places in the Rockies lineup, and he also can play all three outfield positions. He's played at the corners at a gold glove level, and he also can fill in at center. So depending on what happens the rest of the offseason, that, um, that may determine where Parra ends up playing for them. Gerardo Parra has tapped the Rockies. The free agent outfielder agreed to terms with Colorado on a three-year, $27.5 million deal. Parra spent time with the Brewers and Orioles in 2015, batting a combined 291 with 14 homers and 51 RBIs in 155 games. I think the Dodgers, and like many other teams, they see the upside there. They see a 25, 24-year-old kid who could maybe be a middle of the rotation guy. You never know with that kind of arm, maybe you can move him to the bullpen. The Dodgers have an agreement in place with Cuban pitcher Yaisel Sierra to a six-year deal worth between 30 and $33 million. The 24-year-old righty pitched four seasons in the Cuban League, where he went 16-21 with a 4.23 ERA. He is expected to compete for a bullpen role as soon as this spring. More news out of La La Land on Tuesday, as the Dodgers have made the hiring of Alex Anthopoulos official to serve as vice president of baseball operations. The former Blue Jays GM will assist in all aspects of baseball operations. And finally, sad news to report about Monty Irvin. The MLB legend and pioneer has passed away at the age of 96 in his Houston home. In 1940, Irvin became just the fourth African-American player to enter the major leagues when he debuted with the New York Giants at the age of 30. After seven seasons with the Giants and one with the Cubs, Irvin retired in 1957 and was inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1973. His number 20 was retired by the Giants in 2010. For more on these stories and the very latest hot stove activity, keep it locked into MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.